We begin tonight with the latest on the economy and how it continues to hit Americans hard in the pocketbook and in the workplace from coast to coast. The latest numbers show the unemployment rate stands at 9.1 percent, with the pace of job growth slowing. When it comes to new jobs, 70 percent of those are coming from small businesses, but many of them are struggling just to hang on. Whit Johnson shows us a case in point in the small town of Scarborough, Maine. In the unsettled race towards economic recovery, small businesses like Maine Indoor Carding can hardly keep up. How close are you to that edge? We're struggling every step of the way. In 2003, owner Rick Snow chose his passion for cars over a lucrative career in financial consulting. A lot invested here. Seven figures. Seven figures. Seven figures. But since the recession, he's had fewer customers. Health care costs for his workers have soared by 56 percent in the last year. And just last month, he took another hit. We paid $3.97 a gallon. $4 a gallon. Gas prices, a dollar per gallon higher than the year before. Not only do we have to pay more to fill the tanks on the go-karts, because of the higher cost, our customers aren't coming as much. So Rick has had to cut his staff in half from more than 40 employees at the start of his business down to 20 today. Rick's story is not unique. It seems as though we are at the beginning of a slowdown, another throttling back in economic growth. And Rick says the consumer is key to getting businesses back on track. I think consumer confidence is the most important thing. We need customers. Don't give me another loan. Don't say we are, we're going to drop your taxes. If we don't make any money, we're not paying taxes anyway. Until that confidence grows, Rick won't hire the five to eight more workers he needs. Instead, he's just trying to survive. If we don't make ends meet, then I'll probably be looking for a job in September to try and, and, and make things up so at least we can pay our mortgage and keep the house over our head. It's that close. It's that close. Months away. Months away. And here in Washington, all eyes are on the White House and Congress as they look for solutions. But lately, when it comes to the economy, there's been more gridlock than legislation. Russ? Whit Johnson at the White House. Thank you very much.